What's going on everyone? My name is Brandon Hainline and today we're going to be taking a look at the all new Jeep Wrangler 4xe plug-in hybrid. We're going to take a look underneath the hood and find out what is different and what those components are. Let's get started and find out what is different. So right off the bat, I'm going to tell you what we're going to go over here. I see three big orange cables. We got one some over here. We have some down here. We have one there. And also, I don't know if you guys noticed, we have one two three different radiator caps we're going to go over those three that is really the only difference underneath this hood we're going to go over those in depth so first let's start off with the mgu now the older um i say the uh, the, the two liter that we already had did have an mgu that's what we use for a stop start now that is what we are using to start this engine this vehicle does not have a starter or you could say that the mgu is the starter all right, so before we use the 48 volt battery pack that was underneath the Jeep, and that was used to uh, turn over this MGU, which started the engine. Now we'll have, well, we'll have to say that this makes it very smooth to start up. The engine starts up extremely smooth. Uh, you can see the large orange cables. That is coming from the high voltage battery, and that is what it uses the electricity to turn the engine over. Now, moving over here to the driver's side of the engine, we can see some more orange cabling over here. What does this go to? This goes to the AC compressor. Now, for all of you that have the 3.6 liter and when the auto stop start kicks in, we lose our air conditioning. That doesn't happen in the Jeep Wrangler 4xe. The air conditioning keeps running because it is electric and it's run off of the main battery, the, the main high voltage battery, not the 12 volt battery. So, um, this is a huge benefit and this is one of the things I love about the Jeep Wrangler 4xe. Now guys, all of these orange cables run down to uh, this bottom section and you saw a previous video here that showed the IDCM. It also houses another module called the IPM. That is the inverter power module. The inverter power module converts DC voltage to AC voltage and supplies these large accessories like the MGU, which is over here, and the AC compressor, which is down here. All right, one other big cable, which is just gonna be the charging uh, cable here. This is a high voltage cable. It goes to your charging port here. Pretty easy to understand. All right, one, two, three. The other two liter, um, not the uh, PHEV version, but this, uh, the mild hybrid version, has one, two radiator caps. Why do we have a third? All right, this um, is the, this is a high pressure 21 PSI. This is for your regular engine, okay? Engine, radiator, things like that. Now, as you can see here, we got the uh, five PSI cap here, which is used on the other two liter, the uh, mild hybrid two liter that has the MGU. This cooling system here cools the MGU and several other components in that system. Now, this is our third one. What is this for? This is for our battery. This is cooling for our battery, all right? This is antifreeze. So when it gets too hot, uh, we use this to cool it down. And also when it gets too cold, we use this to warm it up. So what's interesting about these radiator caps, they're childproof, childproof. So what you have to do is right here, okay? If you ever need to get these open, there is a safety, oh, where's it at? All right, let's find it here, there it is. There's a hole right there, so you can see the hole. Stick a flathead screwdriver in there, and then all this will turn out. So that's how you get those open. So one last thing that is different is this guy right here. All right, so what this is, is this is actually what, so this here is the hybrid battery coolant jug okay as you can see the uh, antifreeze goes down here it comes into here all right and comes out here so what this is this is a cooler this actually cools down the antifreeze for the hybrid battery system the high voltage battery system so it is it uses the ac the air condition to cool down we don't use the fan or the radiator to cool down the hybrid battery system. So what this means is the engine does not have to be running. Okay, let's say that the battery is getting hot. It is, um, it, you know, it's 110 degrees outside in Arizona. It, the battery 
kicks in the AC compressor, which runs the air condition, which cools down the antifreeze while it is sitting still, nothing's running. So that's why we gotta have an electric air condition compressor for a lot of different things other than just cooling the cabin. Now I will have to say that the heater hose system is extremely complex in this whole PHEV. Um, there are heater hoses run all throughout this thing front and back. So a couple things that I noticed uh, the other day, I was going to work and uh, I was a little bit chilly. So I turned the heat on, guess what happens? The engine had to turn on to create the heat in the antifreeze to give me heat off of the heater core. So what that means is it does not have electric strips on the heater core or anything like that in the heating system. It's crazy, but uh, that's the differences on the new 4xe Jeep Wrangler. I hope you're smarter now than when you were when you started this video. Have a great day.